Ladies and gentlemen, the hunt continues. Today on the next round of Monarch First Edition, my patron Jacob teases Rudy. So far, so far, we've had a patron hit, um, what, do, um, what do we get? A legendary cold foil eclipse, yeah. So now we're going to go with, oops, just bent that. Today we're gonna to go with the next round. I have still not seen the library, but I've seen some, like I said, uh, we've had one page today, um, not a fable, but they did get a legendary cold foil. Hey, there's the promo card. So that's what the regular one looks like. Oh, wow, that is a big difference without the fancy framework. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Three. You guys ready? Six, nine, ten, eleven, and pack one. Foil, courageous, steel hand, beautiful halo, herald, and majestic tear limb from limb. Flipping. Why is the camera just... Was the camera getting nervous? Get scared of the tearing on the limbs? The old Soul Reaper. That's pretty neat how uh, both of them are on the same one, though. So, of course, here, folks. Hope everyone's having a great time. Hope everyone's enjoying the post-Monarch release. What a monstrous release. And, man, the feedback has been extraordinary. And what an amazing time. Look at this, folks. Right out of the gate, Dimensional Crossroads. Majestic Foil. And the, the meme card, Stubby Hammers. I feel like eventually someone's going to just buy out all the stubby hammer cold foils just because it's a meme. You know, I mean, that's it's 2021. At this point, anything's flipping possible. And I feel like that would be a target meme buyout card, you know. And the old mini-me Rudy. Generic common. And we got the old beautiful iron weave. Endless mall. Captain's call. So other than that, uh, market prices for Monarch have been slightly negative down to slightly flat. We are about, there's been about, um, I'd say we've experienced box prices are around $450 to $550, bouncing around. Ghostly visit for the full come. And, ooh, Hell from Beyond for the spicy yard. And Majestic, I have not seen you. Shadow of Blast, whoa. Are they all the villagers looking at like the middle blood in the street? Or what are they looking at? That's pretty well. And of course, Rudy's woman. Levia. She's just like, what? What? I'm a little rough, but you know, I, I can make things happen here. I said, I know you can. I don't doubt you at all. All right, here we go, folks. And, ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Phantasmify for the foil rare. Is that our first? That's our first foil rare of the box there. Dream Reaver, that was our uh, last cold foil that we had in the other box. Captain's Call, Prismatic Shield, and a beautiful Miss Prism. Yeah, I think uh, right now the market's trying to find itself. You see the cold foil prices all over the map. You see box prices bouncing around. The supply and demand are pulling back and forth, trying to find that nice balancing point. Foil common and the old iron rod. Let's glisten V for the Vanguard and beautiful Miss Levia. Yeah, I think um, I think we're going to stabilize here around the $500 a box. And then I think it's probably going to take about 60 days to flush the market. And then I think we're probably going to start seeing some actual upward movement. Ooh, nice full rare. God, that is beautiful looking. Full rare. Gauntlet. Seeking the Horizon. And Battlefield Blitz with the yellow pitch. Yeah, I'm thinking that right now we're going to see um, nothing too extreme. I think we're mostly going to be kind of stable right now. The market's really... Everybody's kind of waiting to see what the next person does. Does that make sense? Common Take Flight. Gold. Dusk Path. And Tremor. That, that's what I feel like. I feel like everybody's waiting. It's like, it's like who, who's going to act first? Who's going to jump first? I feel like that's exactly what's going on. Everybody's waiting to see what the next one's going to do. You know? Foil common. Pound for pound. Stubby and the hammers. Soul reaping for the rare. Ooh. Beacon of victory for our majestic number three non-coil. Non-foil. Not non-cold foil. But yeah, that's... That's my perspective right now. I feel like every store is watching the market daily. All these evil investors and the 3% ladies. Everyone's just kind of sitting back going, really, another mini-me common? Was it the same pitch? Nope, that was a red pitch. Last one was a blue pitch. I feel like everybody's like, all right, who's going to jump first? Who's going to make the move? Who's going who's gonna to move in and start buying when the prices drop? Who's going to wait for the prices to drop further? Are we all going to wait? I feel like so many people, the amount of messages I've received, even patrons like, Rudy, I'm watching the Monarch thing. Should I jump in now? Should I wait? The amount of people waiting to make a move is quite fascinating. And Tremor, boy, nothing nothing exotic here. I'm not seeing anything crazy. I've only got one uh, Majestic foil here. Kind of a normal one. We've been getting, um, I've been getting some comments of people noticing that the uh, Cold Foil 
It's been uh, showing up in the same location. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that glisten. That is nice. Okay. And fold. Convulsions of the Bellows of Hell, my favorite one. Hey, Soul Shield, beautiful. And what is the what is inside that bobble? We'll find out one day. Soul Shield, dude, beautiful. Love it. So everyone's been noticing that the cold foil, like in this stack of packs on the right side, is between this area. It seems to be a lot of people have been discussing that. And if you're lucky enough to get a second cold foil, you get it on the beginning of the box, similar. And then if you get a second, or the other one will be on the bottom. So you get one at the beginning and the end. That's kind of what people are discussing there. Beautiful Herald of Tenacity, the common. Valiant Thrust, that's what my uh, ex used to say. And Hell from Beyond. All right. So I'd say we probably had a couple packs till the cold foil shows up, but we're approaching it if the pattern um, holds true, which it's looking like it's going to hold true. And Enigma Chimera. Another, God, a lot of, a lot of commons in this one, huh? Plow through, Seek Horizon. And three, how many? Three, three rares, one majestic. Okay, all right. Yeah, so we should be approaching the spice zone here. Hopefully, there's not. It's not like a clump zone, because that would be a little disturbing. Foil common, stony, stubby hammers again, and a nice gateway. Help muscle. Hmm. All right. Not a lot of spice here. Not a lot of spice. Not a lot of excitement right now. Again, we don't have a ton of these box openings. We've only got a couple more. So we're not going to be opening, you know, hundreds of the... Ooh, love that. Illum God, that's so nice. Look at that Illuminate Foil Common. Holy smokes. That was the promo playmat, by the way. Pulping, by the way. That is a rough-looking piece of art, man. Unhallowed Rights, Chick with Hand on the Face. And our girl Prism. All right. Here we go, everybody. We are getting right into the cold foil zone. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, oh I thought... Another Stony. Oh, ah, this stupid card drives me crazy. I love it. I'm telling you, I want to, I want to, I'm going to locate the original art. I'm going to throw a bunch of money in Legend Stories to your face, and I want this original art or something. Or I'm just going to buy every cold foil of that card just because I got problems. Ooh, invigorating light. Look at that. I haven't seen that one all video today. All right, here we go. Come on. Ah, the old Michael Bolton there. Four, eight. 9, 10, 11, and then, all right, Warmonger's Recital. All right, ooh, Beast Hulk. Ooh, Nourishing Empty Miss. I do like this. The, I, I said in the other video, the reason I like that art on this card is because it has a different vibe. It, it looks different. It stands out con compared to other Flesh and Blood cards. Like, seriously, look at it. Like, if you look at that art compared to the, the tone and the flow of the other ones. So, here we go. 8, 9, 10, 11, and Overload for the Foil Common. And a Phantasmify, and a Plow Through. All right, folks. I expect, if the pattern holds true, we should be looking at a cold foil in this pack or the next one. If the pattern holds true. Are we ready? Well, it's not this one. Endless Maw for the foil rare. And Battlefield Blitz. And a Majestic Rousin the Ancients. That's a pretty spicy card, man. You may have read this one. Additional cost to play. You may reveal any number of attack action cards from your hand with 13 or more total attack. You do so, gains plus 7. <laughs> Good lord. And I didn't know if you guys noticed that. Gains plus 7. Holy smokes, man. Alright, here we go. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Nothing. Pound for pound for the full common. Alright, Battlefield Blitz. Dusk Path. Okay. So this third pack from the bottom, it's between the third and the fifth pack. So this should be the quote-unquote weighted cold foil whatever pack. This should be the card. Are we ready? This should be it. 9, 10, 11. This is not it. Convulsions of the Bellows of Hell. It is a foil rare card there. And yeah, Herald of Judgment and Vexing Mount. Oh my god, two packs left. Holy smokes. What if we go what if we just don't even get a cold foil? That's gonna be the most depressed dude. Jacob, if we get if we don't even get a cold foil, talk about depressing pound town. Ready? 9, 10. It's a cold foil. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. We're here. Ah. Time skippers. We got the time skippers. So we did get a cold foil. It is the cold foil common time skippers, folks. We did not hit the home run on this particular box. One pack left. I, I guess we can't be that upset. 
It, it does feel weird though, going back to the cold foil commons after I did all those crucible box openings. And the crew boxes, you know, there is no cold foil common. It just, it's just literally, it starts at rare. So kind of the rares are kind of the cold foil common, as they say. So it's kind of a weird thing. Foil, rare, ending of the video right here. Anything hidden in the back? And that's it. Overall, straight down the middle, average box opening. Standard six Majestics. Only one instead of two foil Majestics. We did hit a cold foil. And right down the middle. No legendaries or fable, but again, if they were in every box, it would kind of defeat the point of the chase. But it is what it is. Thanks again, Jacob, for being a very kind patron. All of the fancy schmancy cards are heading your way, sir. And as always, have a great day and make sure you're enjoying this beautiful world. Otherwise, seriously, just, I don't know, take clothes off, run outside naked, go hug a tree, do something. It's amazing out there. Seriously, pay attention.